Chandy Duran Green said that he is just still devastated and very hurt by what happened on Friday. And he said while his two sons are still in a lot of pain, they did make it through surgery and they're recovering tonight. My kids are recovering perfectly. They're, you know, they're very strong. Deron Green sharing an update on his two sons recovering from stab wounds. This should never ever happen. Never. Police said Friday morning the two boys, ages three and seven, were stabbed by their mother, Sydney Jefferson. She is charged with two counts of each of these charges, including attempted homicide. My children took puncture wounds to their neck, and and I don't think they can, you know, they have they have to live with that. You know, I don't think they can deal with it, but they they have to live with that for the rest of their life. Police said it was Green's quick action Friday morning, getting his youngest son out of the house and with the help of a bus driver, getting him to a police station that likely saved the child's life. He didn't worry about no shoes. He didn't worry about no clothes. He didn't think about a blanket. He thought about getting his son some help and saving his life. It was just like the most terrible thing you could ever wake up to, you could ever see, you could ever imagine, you know, and I'm just glad that I was there to protect my children and make sure they was out of harm's way. I'm glad that I was there for them. According to court documents, Jefferson called 911 and said she wanted to turn herself in, then told police in an interview she went into the boy's bedroom with a kitchen knife and stabbed her sleeping son in the neck multiple times then stabbed her other son. I'm so hurt. Um, I'm devastated by everything that happened and I'm, I'm just I'm dealing with so much trauma. Attorney Blaine Jones, who is representing Jefferson, said she will be receiving mental health evaluations.